Hello everyone and welcome to another JavaScript Mastery video. In this video, we are going to build this awesome web development portfolio in less than 30 minutes. It may be 10, it may be 20, but it sure will be fast. Along with building it, we are also going to deploy it on the internet. So it will be live, hosted, online, so you can share it with everyone and you can portray yourself as you want. Nowadays, your portfolio is your resume. People would rather see your website and everything that you can do on this nicely displayed portfolio rather than reading through plain text on your resume. It is also your business card. You aren't going to print little papers and hand them out to people. You're just going to send them this link. So why wouldn't this first impression be yours? You can take it and you can actually present yourself the way you want to. So with that out of the way, uh, what are we going to be building? So basically we are going to use this starter. This is already pre-built, but you can also fill it with your information. So all of this is custom. You can also change the title right here and the favicon. And as you can see right here, we also have some nice animations with this ge geometrical shapes right here. As we slide right down, you can see that this color changes and right here is the project section. Uh, right here, these are just some placeholder projects, but in here, as you can see, you can put some description, title, an image, this little gradient right here that you can change. And it is of course clickable, so you can actually guide your employer to your project. If we continue scrolling uh, down below, you can see that in here we have an about section. This is just some placeholder text right here, but in here you can say something about yourself. And if we go down a bit more in here, you can see that we have get in touch section where employers or people you want to impress can contact you right here on LinkedIn, Instagram, or anything else that you want to put in here. You can also change the theme of your portfolio. So it is all white right now. You can believe it or not, but all of this can be built in around five to 10 minutes. Basically, we are just going to use the Gatsby starter. So if you have never used Gatsby, not to worry, we are going to explore it right now. Gatsby is a free and open source framework based on React, and it helps developers build blazing fast websites and apps. Basically, it is a static site generator for React. While building apps in React, it is really nice, it is reactive. You can basically put all of the uh, dynamic data in curly braces and it is going to be displayed like that. Uh, it is not like building HTML and CSS site where you're basically caged in this static way of working. But with Gatsby, you can actually build uh, websites in React and they are going to be transferred to static sites. Static sites are of course much faster and safer than React applications. So let's get started. If you have never used Gatsby.js, basically there is only one thing you need to do. You need to install this Gatsby CLI globally on your machine, but you can also do it in the project. So let's first copy all of this and get back to our code editor. In here, uh, I'm using Visual Studio Code because it has a uh, built-in terminal. You can get it up by just going into view and then terminal uh, right here. Okay, I'm going to paste this installation. If you are on Mac, you are going to need to type sudo and then this, and it is going to ask you for your password. Uh, basically, you're installing this Gatsby CLI so you can use it anytime you want uh, on all the projects you are working with. After that installs, uh, we can see that we create a new Gatsby site by running Gatsby new and then Gatsby site. But it also allows you to use starters. Starters are pre-built pages that allow you uh, not to start with a blank white page, but you can also already have something uh, done like the project structure or already some plugins installed. So as you can see right here, we have a lot of Gatsby starters. Gatsby is really powerful in the way that it allows you to create, for example, e-commerce store or WordPress site in just a few clicks. This is also some Gatsby starter right here. And this is a Gatsby starter deck. So basically you can create presentations using Gatsby. There are a lot of things that you can do with Gatsby, but for now we are going to create a portfolio. If you'd want me to create more uh, different videos with Gatsby and explain what Gatsby is in more details and actually create a project from scratch with it, just let me know in the comments and I'm going to do that. Uh, right here we can see that we are going to be using this starter, so you can click on it right here. 
and here is the installation uh, code. Basically, you run Gatsby, new, and then the link of the starter. So we are going to copy this and go back into our code editor. Right here, after the CLI is installed, we can just paste it right here. This is going to install the whole Gatsby starter portfolio for us. While it installs, we can see something more about this project. Basically, it is a portfolio project. It is a playful and colorful one-page portfolio featuring parallax effects and animations. It is good for designers and photographers. Uh, it is built with MDX and TeamUI. We are going to be using it as a web development portfolio, but of course you can uh, build anyone's portfolio with this. So with that out of the way, let's go back to our application. After all the dependencies were successfully installed, we can basically clear the console and CD into a newly created directory called Gatsby Starter. Now that we are in here, we can simply run npm start. This is going to start the page for us on localhost 8000. So while it is starting, we can check the project structure a bit. So in here, we do not have much. We have a source folder with another folder and then yet another folder. And in here we have sections. I have something else running on port 8000, but I would still like to run this page. Okay, it is building it right now. So basically the way you do this um, Gatsby starters is you simply create new sections to overwrite what is already there. There are instructions with this project on how to overwrite the built-in sections and text on them. Right now you can see that the website is online on port 8001 for me, it is most likely 8000 for you. So let's get back to the browser and paste that inside of the console and immediately you're going to see your application. So, hi, I am Jane Doe and I'm creating web experiences. You're most likely not Jane and you're most likely not creating nice web experiences. So we need a way to change this text right here, as well as this project right here and this about page and this get in touch page. So how do we do that? Let's get back to our Gatsby starter portfolio right here and maybe it tells us how to do it. So we cannot find any information right here, but there is a GitHub source right here. So maybe that is going to lead us to more, uh, more meaningful information. As you can see right here, using and modifying the starter. We can change the content by creating new files inside of the sections folder. We can override four files intro.mdx, project, about, and contact. intro.mdx is already created for us as an example. And for the project, we will have to use this form. And the static folder already contains the icons, social media images, and robots.txt, so you need to change these files also. So let's get started. First, we are going to create these four files right here, and I'm going to show you how you can actually put your own text right there. So inside of here, you can see that we already have intro.mdx, and you can basically just change it. Hi, uh, I am JavaScript Mastery. Just for example, I'm creating, uh, let's say, websites and web applications, just for example. And if we get back, and get back to our application, you can see that it immediately refreshed. Let's get down to our next section, which are projects. So how do we change projects? If we get back right here, we can create a new section inside sections by typing projects.mdx. So only intro has this hash right here. Basically this means first heading or heading one. And inside of projects and any other uh, section, we are going to have just uh, this. So basically a second heading, not the main one. And in here, as we saw in here, we basically need to put this project card like this. If we get back and we just paste it, and in here you can see that we can rename it. So last project on JavaScript Mastery was uh, chat application built with socket.io. If you haven't checked that video, feel free to, it is great. 
in here we can put the link to the GitHub directory of that project maybe and we can also change the linear gradient for this simple project. In here you can just put some text. Um, this is a chat application built with React socket.io not node.js and it was awesome basically something like that and we can also copy this to create four or more projects and right now we can simply exit the application by typing control c and start running it again because it needs to be restarted for these projects to show and as you can see right here, we get four of the same projects. Of course, if this was your portfolio, you'd need to change the title description for each one, as well as this gradient, so it doesn't look boring. But it works great. You can simply display your projects right here. So let's get down to our next section, which is about section. As you already know, we need to simply create inside of sections about that MDX. Inside of here, uh, we create a new heading, called about and in here we can put some text. Right here you can see that this is slightly bigger text. It can be H4 maybe, so fourth heading. And in here we can put some text and down below is a simple paragraph. We can write anything we want, maybe uh, what do you think of this portfolio? Okay, it is not automatically refreshed because we need to rerun our application because we created a new file. But before we do that, let's actually override our last section. So we are going to create our last section, which is basically contact.mdx. Okay, inside of here, we can copy all of this and simply paste it. As we already learned, this is a H2. And this is some simple paragraph. But here is the question. How are we actually going to put links on this Instagram and Dribbble platforms? As you can see right here, they are clickable. You can do it simply by providing a link structure to this MDX document. So MDX is like HTML, for example. It has a specific structure. So we talked about headings. In HTML, it is H2. But in Markdown, it is basically two hash signs. So how do we do links? Uh, I will leave a link down below to this uh, markdown, markdown guide. So you can just go ahead and see for yourself. We can do command F and then type links. Right here, you can see that this is the structure. We can copy all of this and get back. You can see that we have name of the link in these brackets and then just after that we have a full link in the parentheses. So if we wanted to create a link to our LinkedIn for example, we do something like this. Brackets and then uh, we type LinkedIn and then just after that we put the whole URL. So HTTPS LinkedIn.com. That's it. Uh, you can also do something for Instagram. It doesn't really matter. You are going to put everything that you want for your own portfolio. So right now, if you get back, uh, we are also not going to see anything because we need to restart our application. But before we do that, we also want to change some more things. All of this for now is great. It is fully customized, but we want to change some more things. Uh, for example, let's say you want to change this favicon icon right here and you want to change the title of the website. Let's change that. You can go into the Gatsby config and simply change this site title property. So we are going to name something like my portfolio. Okay, that's great. And in here we also have some icons. We are going to delete this section right here about icons because these are for Android and these are for offline use. Now that we change that, let's change our icon. Basically, you simply need to override this icon right here. So in here we have icons for Android, uh, Apple, banners and favicons of different sizes. For now, we can simplify things and simply uh, delete this static folder. After we delete it, we are going to create a new one called uh, static. So the same name it was before. And in here, you can only put your one favicon icon. 
if you have never created a favicon, you can basically go to favicon generator or a site simple like that. In here, you can upload your PNG image and it is going to be transferred to ICO as icon. I already have one downloaded, for example, so I'm going to put it into the static right here. And as you can see, our favicon is right here. Okay, now I'm going to uh, exit our application and we are going to run npm start once again to see all the changes we've made. Right before you run the page, make sure to delete the public folder and the cache folder right here because uh, we need to delete that to successfully override all the icons we are going to put in. So now our favicon is going to be displayed. Right now, with that ready, make sure to run npm start again and we should see all the changes live. So this is our page. You have your name and your surname right here as well as a short description. And just down below, you can present all of your projects and in here, you let the future employer know something about yourself. Just below, they can easily contact you by clicking on this link. You can also change the theme right here. And that's basically it. So now you might be wondering, how are you going to deploy it and host it online? Let's do that right now. Everything that we have to do right now is simply type Gatsby build. This is going to create a whole new directory for us and we are simply going to drag and drop this newly created directory with all the static files into the Netlify where we are going to host them. So right now, as you can see right here, building production JavaScript and CSS bundles. Great. And right now you can see this build directory right here. You're going to right click it and click reveal in Fider or open it inside of the Explorer if you're on the Windows. You can go ahead and simply sign up or log in for Netlify. It is netlify.com. And inside of here, you have the option to create a new site from Git. But if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that you can deploy a new site by simply drag and dropping your site folder right here. So if you already opened the public folder, simply drag and drop it right here. Okay, I dropped my public folder right here. And in matter of seconds, you can see that it says right here, it gives you a link and it says published. You can go under that link, click it, and your portfolio is up and running. Right here, you can see that it is running on this weird link right here, but of course that you can buy your own domain name, something like name-surname.com or something. And then if you go under the domain settings and simply click here, add custom domain, simple as that. So right now it is on this domain, you can share it. It is actually online. You can view it on your mobile and you can share it with your friend. As I mentioned, this is built from a Gatsby starter, but Gatsby has so much more to offer. I recently started working with it and I'm amazed of how many features there are. You can build e-commerce stores, blogs, website, portfolios, anything you can imagine. And it provides you with an enjoyable uh, experience while developing, but also provides you with amazing and fast sites. So if you want me to create a more in-depth tutorials of Gatsby, feel free to let me know in the comments of what specifically would you want me to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.